Well, at least four Minnesota cities have now temporarily banned THC products as they scramble to write regulations after the state's new THC law hit them by surprise. That law is creating uncertainty and opportunity that hemp businesses actually see. With that, we want to bring in political reporter Theo Keith. And Theo, the cities and some businesses say lawmakers need to do a bit of clarifying here. They do, Karen and Tim. The thinking on this surprise law has shifted from what just happened here to what are we going to do about it. Yep. At Waconia's Hemp Acres, which the CEO says is one of the biggest hemp processors in the country, optimism is flowing about Minnesota's new law on THC gummies and drinks. It helps an industry that's dealing with growing pains. Nationwide, hemp production is down over the year. We're getting demand that is so overwhelmingly impossible here. So there's just a lot more infrastructure and a lot more investment opportunity um, that can happen in this industry. Yet while some see opportunity in the new law, others see uncertainty. What happens, for example, if a worker gets high from a gummy, then gets into a workplace accident? And the way the Minnesota law is structured right now, it's very difficult for uh, an employer to deny those benefits. John Hollick is at SFM Mutual Insurance, the largest workers' compensation insurer in Minnesota. State law says employers aren't liable for benefits if a worker is intoxicated, but Hollick says the 70-year-old law was written for alcohol and doesn't contemplate THC. The main thing is that Minnesota law goes back to 1953 on the workers' compensation side. It just does need to be updated. City officials are making their own moves. A handful, including Robbinsdale and Stillwater, have passed temporary bans on the sale of THC products. Robbinsdale's mayor says the city will lift the ban in a few months after it crafts a policy about where the products can be sold and how to get a license. Several other cities are considering the same. Patricia Beatty is general counsel for the League of Minnesota Cities. Can they outright ban it? I don't know. I mean, that's an open question in the law. Uh, I don't hear cities contemplating that right now. I think it's the moratorium. I mean, that seems like a really a good tool to use for good governance. The league says the moratoriums like the ones Stillwater and Robbinsdale have passed have been misunderstood and that they're not a delay tactic, rather a chance to study how to regulate THC products locally. Just today, on the 22nd day of the new law, the state sent cities a checklist for how to inspect businesses, verify that no sales are to anyone under 21, and check that the packaging is child resistant. It is clearly an evolving law. Karen? All right, Theo, thank you.